start. I, I print the image on this special film that has emulsion on one side of it. And on the other side, there's no emulsion. So it gets printed with the emulsion side down. And over here, I have already prepared my surface. I've prepared it with a gesso finish. And what I want to do is um, put this solution and paint it over the entire surface. And when I'm ready to paint, to, to put the image down, I put the image down like this, and then I roll it on top of the back drop. Then I let it sit for about three or five minutes. And while it sits there, the sauce, or the, call this the sauce, pulls the image off of the plastic. And during that period of time, I consider the image to be alive because it's movement and it's moving and it's migrating to the surface. And that's a kind of an exciting part about this whole process because when it's in that live state, it kind of moves around a little bit on its own. And then when I lift the image off of it, I'm only going to be lifting the clear plastic off because the image is going to be adhered to the um, substrate. When I do that, there's also movement. So I tend to get some very irregular edges, or I might get some really irregular uh, forms in, inside the picture. And then I lift it off, the picture remains there, but it has a very unique uh, type of quality that is almost, well, it's hand done, and they're one of a kind, so that if I did this again on another picture, it would be different. You know, it would just show up differently. And so um, I um, really love that image. It gives it kind of a hand or painterly quality to the image. And like in, in this image right here that you're looking at, um, what I did is underneath on the underlayment, I used gesso and I raised the surface so that the surface has a texture of the grass behind it. So this is a surface of glass, so this is smooth. And this has a texture, so it has these various textural elements that I can create. And then um, if I wanted to build up the background, say for example, in this picture, in this picture, let's bring it over here. What I did here, because I wanted to embellish the really beauty of the architecture, is that I I covered the box with this paper, this gilded paper, and then I put the transfer on top of it. And I think it really adds a nice effect to the image and adds to the sort of elegance of not only the architecture, but of the picture. You can see this really pretty stuff. So, so, this, so that using this transfer process, there is a whole wide range of creativity that I can employ you know, in making these images so that each image is one of a kind.